Welcome to Akiwa Springs State Park, a stunning jewel located just north of Orlando, Florida. The park's crystal clear spring pumps out nearly 43 million gallons of water each day, feeding the Wakiva River and sustaining a complex web of life. These waters attract visitors year-round for swimming, kayaking, and hiking, a perfect example for ecotourism that balances recreation with preservation. By exploring these natural landscapes, people connect with wild heritage of Florida while helping to fund the protection of one of its last remaining intact pine upland ecosystems. Beyond the tranquil waters, Wakiwa Springs transitions into diverse upland habitats, pine flatwoods, sand hills, and hardwood hammocks. Each area supports unique species specially adapted to Florida's fire-prone environments. Many of these plants and animals found here exist because of, not in spite of, periodic wildfires. Fire shapes the park's landscapes, clears dense underbrush and recycles nutrients, and opens sunlight for new growth. One of the park's most iconic plants is the longleaf pine. Once covering over 90 million acres of the southeast, it now survives in protected places like Wakiwa Springs. Its thick bark shields it from heat, and its seeds grow in like a grass-like stage that resists fire. After a fire passes, the young trees shoot upwards racing towards the sky. Without regular burns, hardwoods would overtake these open savannas, eliminating habitat for countless species such as red cockaded woodpeckers which nest only in mature longleaf ponds. Under the pine, wiregrass and blazing star thrive in the sandy soil. These grasses are also fire dependent. They only release their seeds after exposure to heat. The seasonal fire mimics nature's rhythm, stimulating flowers and restoring nutrients to the soil. When flames sweep through, they burn quickly and low, leaving behind a renewed carpet of green that supports rabbits, deer, and insects within weeks. Another critical plant here is the salt palmetto. Its fan-shaped leaves and creeping stems cover large areas of the forest floor. After fire, the palmetto re-sprouts rapidly from underground stems, providing food and cover for wildlife. The gopher tortoise digs its burrows nearby, creating shelter used by over 350 other species, including snakes, frogs, and small mammals. Even the threatened indigo snake seeks refuge inside these sandy tunnels. Wakiwa's fauna are intricately tied to these fire-maintained habitats. Red cockaded woodpeckers rely on long leaf pines with softened heartwood for nest cavities. White-tailed deer and wild turkey feed on their tender shoots that sprout after burns. Petters like bobcats and red-shouldered hawks patrol the open understory for prey. Near the wetlands, the American alligator rules the waterway while river otters and great blue herons share the calmer streams. Even the elusive Florida black bear wanders through these forests, drawn by berries and acorns produced after fire, juvenating the land. For centuries, lightning strikes and indigenous burning practices maintained this balance naturally. Modern park managers now use controlled burns carefully timed and monitored fires that imitate these natural cycles. By reducing fuel buildup, prescribed fires preserve large, catastrophic wildfires and ensure the persistence of fire-adaptive flora 